Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Dear viewers, now we will model grade beams on this grade beam level and then we will model floor beam and slab. So let's start. First, we will select our work plan here, set origin or of grid or work plan. From here, also you can do, and from here, also you can do it define origin or set I'll click on this then I'll go top of this column 6 feet above the foundation so now our working plan 6 feet above the foundation as we have drawn our grid line so this model dotted grid we don't need we can make it invisible by clicking on this now we will go to plan here is our grid beam layout plan we will draw accordingly click on this new single member Twelve depth first twelve and strength should be edit. We will change the strength. This one, okay. Twelve by twelve, we will draw we have this one. We have to have then this grid to this grid. Now we will draw grid beam with more depth. will by 15 choose this one okay We can draw continue, continuous if we want to make continuous beam like this continuous member then press ESC this side also Done. this side also I am providing same beam section we will change if after the de design if it is required we will change the beam section ok so this is our great beam layout plan accordingly we have modeled this great beam in global RFM as the these nodes are getting at the grid point that's why we can solve this issue edit one okay we can make it in six feet okay now grid line came to this right now if we draw the 
beams then it will not main problem like this other nodes getting the columns that's why and uh, they, they are in the right place but other when I was selecting the grid joints it was going to the down point where grid is located so now go to here now if I draw this one okay here to here here to here and draw single member 12 by 12 this one this one and this one now if we see it is now it is okay now we will select the columns then we will go for copy and we will select the distance from here to here that means 6 feet ok as in the ground floor the column height will be for example 11 feet we will move it extra 5 feet here if we provide 5 and this not copy this is move so number of copy will be 0 ok so now this is columns for our ground floor on top of this we can draw our floor beams now also I can go for grid line grid 1 I'll change it to 6 plus 11 that means 17 feet top of the ground floor column and work plan I'll change it to here if I view the grid then it will show where is work done now here we will draw our floor beam if we want to hide this beam we can hide visibility by hiding selected object so this will be hidden like this so now we will go for our continuous member we will define 10 by 12 okay I will draw arts here this approximately this this because here it is arts like this
this is our floor beam layout plan Ten by fifteen. Okay. This one will be bigger. So I'll go again. Ten by eighteen strength versus three thousand PSI. Here and draw this ten by fifteen. I'll edit this one on to the strength three thousand. Okay. Now ten by eighty answers. Now we will see the isometric view. So this is our model up to ground floor roof. Now we will draw our slab. I'll select this and this one and I'll move or copy copy 1 minus 2 along the x direction because I want to draw slab two point two feet 5 inch that means Almost two feet six inch, two point five as provided. Okay, done. Here I will provide the thickness. So preliminary, I will choose five or, for example, six. Three thousand psi. Okay. Then I can go for like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Like this. this portion we can draw it very easily by selecting the boundary, select boundary lines this one same boundary line surface thickness 6 inch and this one I'll select this line this line and this line now see this is a slab so in this way we can create great beam or plane beams uh, floor beams and floor slab so this is our model up to ground floor roof in the next tutorial i'll show how to create our model stair in global rfm so till then stay tuned press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update